I am not asking you to do the tomato book. I am not asking you to do any other source. I am asking you just to solve. All. ISI entrance has a lot of calculus problems in subjective paper. Be thorough with this. This will help you score a lot of marks in both MCQs and subjective paper. For any dream to be realized, the most important thing is the right coach. Listen to Sai Astra and do your dream of becoming an IIT and NEST dream. Download the app now. Hi, all of you. Welcome to this crisp and short session on preparation for ISI CMI. You have about a month to go, so I'll quickly be telling you what all things you should be trying to revise, what all things you should be trying to brush up, and how you should be practicing in this final month before your examination, so as to help you out score as much as you can. And I'll tell you, a, like I'll give you some general tips, and then I'll discuss the topics after that, right? So first of all, by 15th of April. try to do all the mcqs from all the pyqs for both isi and cmi cool every single question that's there all the problems that are available to you only the pyqs i am not asking you to do the tomato book i am not asking you to do any other source i am asking you just to solve all the mcqs from the pyqs by 15th of april you have about 2 weeks to do this and you know you and when i say try out i mean understand the mistakes that you make understand the concepts that are involved over there analyze it try to see patterns and try to see some trends that are that you can catch from these papers practice those topics be thorough with the concepts be thorough with the techniques for solving mcqs try to see if you can understand the usage of option elimination option substitution and all of those things right so be as thorough as with the mcqs as possible by 15th of april cool now once this is done once you are set with this once you are happy with this we you then start with and i mean not start with i mean you know this should continue parallelly you don't have to do it after 15th of april no you have to continue doing this i am saying this should be this should be done by 15th of april and you also have to continue to do all of the other three points even even before 15th of april right so what do you need to do you need to do the following you start out with subjective questions of calculus combinatorics geometry polynomials and number theory in the exact same order calculus helps you a lot when it comes to isi entrance right isi entrance has a lot of calculus problems in subjective paper so you need to be thorough with calculus you need to understand how to write your answer how to express your ideas how to clearly state what is going in your head and how to you know approach the problems as well so do the calculus subjective questions right then do combinatorics subjective questions this shows up a lot in both calculus in both isi and cmi right but cmi has a specially high weightage for combinatorics subjective questions as you would see in some of the last peers papers and that is why i am asking you to do these topics first calculus and combinatorics this sort of covers a big 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 chunk of your uh, subjective part in both the exams then start with geometry geometry you will find at least a question in both the papers so geometry is again very important and geometry includes something some sort of some flavor of euclidean geometry 10th standard 9th standard stuff some sort of higher you know advanced euclidean geometry you know stewart's theorem melanos's theorem and all of those things right so do geometry properly go in complete detail Just Just don't do the 10th standard syllabus. There is a lot beyond that. Melanos's theorem, as I said, right, and a few other theorems which I'm pretty sure you are aware of. So do those theorems. Complete geometry properly. Be prepared for this, and you'll have at least one question from geometry in both the papers. Then go on into polynomials and number theory. So you might be asked to compute roots of solutions. I, you might be asked to compute a function with these as the roots. Things of those sorts. So be prepared with polynomials and number theory. This will also include functionals and all. So so complete this topic as well from the previous year papers only. Right? Do this from PYQs only. First of all, you have to complete all the PYQs. And when you're doing all the PYQs, you have to understand what is going on in those problems. You have to understand the solution in complete detail. You don't have to remember or you know you don't have to rote learn the solutions. You have to understand those solutions. so do that be prepared with this so all the subjective questions from pyqs right once you're done with all of this right once you're done with all of this then go ahead and be thorough with at least two of the four topics over here right so there are four topics mentioned over here be thorough and how do you become thorough in one of these in two of these topics you do that by practicing problems from you know the thrills and challenges of college mathematics from the tomato book so do all those books all those questions whichever question you can find from wherever you can find pick any two topics i would say pick calculus and uh, combinatorics right and you know if you have time go for geometry as well so do these three topics properly from these books prepare as much as you can be as thorough as you can once you are clear with these ideas you will be good to go 
right so this is how you should approach this particular problem like this particular uh, examination in the last one month that's left for you now we quickly discuss the syllabus for the exam basically the important topics according to me first of all discuss do complex numbers and quadratic equations properly in cmi entrance you'll find at least one or two mcqs from this particular topic in uh, isi as well there will be some mcq from this particular topic there also might be the question in subjective paper from here so do this properly and as i said calculus is very 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 important so do these three things in as much detail as you can for isi and for cmi as well followed by pnc right permutations and combinations and probability as well right so this is the third third topic and you know yeah again uh, binomial theorem right binomial theorem will show up in one of the mcq parts for isi paper for sure you'll find a lot of mcqs from this particular topic in your isi paper so do this in as much detail as you can be thorough with this this will help you score a lot of marks in both mcqs and subjective paper in both isi and cmi and the same holds for this particular thing as well and for complex numbers and uh, quadratic equations too so do these things properly in complete detail be thorough with this understand the basics solve as many problems as you can right then comes geometry geometry as i said is very 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 important you'll have one question in subjective paper for sure many of the uh, mcq problems objective problems in isi will come from geometry so this you should be on top of this do these things for for like no matter what you do just complete these three topics for cmi you'll have one mcq one of the 10 problems will be from number theory this is a trend that i've seen in papers for last three years so do this be thorough with these topics for cmi entrance and will also help you in isi entrance right but definitely do them for cmi entrance they'll help you a lot you'll have one question for sure from primes or from division algorithm from gcd from modular arithmetic and all of those things right if you have time go ahead and do diophantine equations as well then do sequences and series as well right amg mean quality hp hm inequality and all of those things right uh, arithmetic progression geometric progression harmonic progression and in general right sequences and series in general do this as well you'll have a lot of objective questions from here with these objective questions you'll be able to score a big chunk of portion like big chunk of marks that is required to clear the objective first stage right so do them as well and with these topics you'll be you'll be you'll be good to go you'll be safe you'll be secure you'll feel confident and this should do if there are doubts feel free to approach us put your doubts in the comment section we'll be happy to get back to you drop a like share the video subscribe the channel and if you have the resources i would encourage you to go and buy the crash course as well we are doing the revisions of these topics in great detail that will be very 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 helpful for you that's it from my end all the best for examination see you soon